When we look at fighter jets, we marvel at the speed and the power they fly at, as well as the pilots who handle them. Kyung discovers a strong and calm voice that makes all of this possible. These are some of the fearsome metallic birds that guard our skies. But none of them can take off without the dedicated teams of ground crew or the pilots that fly them. And even then, man and machine can't make a move without clearance from one single voice. We're here in Tengah Air Base, and behind me is the air traffic control tower that oversees the runway. That voice, which the pilots listen to, sits in a cabin right up there, with a full view of what's happening on the airfield. Meet the voice, Sharon Kaur, air traffic controller from the Flying Support Squadron. She gives the OK that will send the F-16s roaring down the runway for a takeoff, and she'll be the one to guide them as they cruise in for a landing. While filming in the tower, we've been asked politely not to get in the way of the crew's work. Considering the focus and attention that Sharon needs to get her work done, we don't blame her. You may have up to 20 aircraft um, launching and recovering. That, that gets really busy and they're moving all over your circuit. So it gets really complex. We may think that Sharon is just a voice to the pilots, but it's definitely more than that. With this much speed and power moving on the runway, she's also got to be the eyes and ears of the pilots. We don't scan the runway carefully when there happens to be a vehicle on the runway and you clear the aircraft to take off or to land, uh, that will lead to a horrible situation. I also have to take into consideration um, circuit traffic. I need to give the aircraft information um, of aircraft in the circuit so that um, they all visual with each other when they take off or land. If we miss one aircraft out and we give another aircraft instructions to climb through that aircraft's path um, and they meet in mid-air, that would lead to a big disaster. Having spent seven years on the job as an air traffic controller, Sharon has very much got the hang of handling so much hardware moving at such high speeds. While she admits it's not stress-free, it's definitely something she relishes doing every day. Yes, it does get stressful when the intensity is, is heavy, but uh, after being on the job for a long while, you uh, learn to manage the stress, and some of us even thrive on the stress. <laughs> When you handle a heavy traffic situation and you manage to launch and recover all the aircraft safely, there's an immense sense of satisfaction. It is um, very challenging and very exciting actually, not boring. <laughs> so never a dull moment? Never a dull moment. <laughs> Every day, the RSF depends on the steady and confident voices of air traffic controllers like Sharon to help them launch and recover their fighter jets. These fighter jets and their pilots, in turn, provide the security for our skies. As the F-16s come in for their final approach to land, the familiar voice of Sharon is already over the airwaves, guiding them in. To our pilots, this is the confident and unwavering voice that will guide them back home safe and sound. When you hear the voice that's uh, very composed, that's very steady, you place a lot of uh, confidence and faith in the fact that this uh, voice knows what she's doing and uh, so that we can actually be sequenced safely in order to land. Welcome home, Cobra.